Saving password in the database in the form of plain text, is it good? Of course not. So guys, my name is Lata Verma and welcome back to my channel Techie Brains. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you that how to save encrypted password in the database using bcrypt password encoder technique. bcrypt password encoding is a technique to basically encode your password. So guys, now I am going to use bcrypt password encoder in my Spring Boot application. It's a REST API where I have created this controller. It has two endpoints, user and authenticate user. This is with post mapping going to take request body for user type of object. User is my entity here. It has two data members only, username and password, where username is the primary key and these are the getters and setters available. In the user controller, I have called the service add user method. Here you can see this is my service class. It has add user method. It is simply receiving a parameter of type user and using repository, a save method is called to save this user into the database. You can have a look at the repository as well. This is my repository. I have used a Spring Data JPA here. So that's why this JPA repository is being used. And the, using this repository's inbuilt save method, this user is stored into the database. And then this message is returned. In the controller, there is one more endpoint, which is for authenticating the user. And this is also taking credentials in the form of user object. So from the request body, we'll, we'll be getting user type of object that will have username and password both. And then in the service method, I'm calling authenticate method. You can see in the service class, we have authenticate user method. It is taking that user and using repository on the basis of primary key, record is searched into the database. If corresponding to this username, we have a record into the database or not. Because username is the primary key of my entity, that's why the method name is find by ID. And this is the primary key value I'm giving. Corresponding to this username, corresponding to the entered username, if there will be any record found into the database, then that will be returned as an optional of user. And we can make a check if the optional of user is present, then to, we can get the actual user using get method, and then we can store it in the database user type of, uh, database user variable. Guys, you know, I mean, like when we talk about a Spring Data JPA, so find by ID returns optional type of object only. So to actually get its value, you make use of get method so that you can get rid of no element found exception. After getting this user, of course, here we just made a check on the basis of username. If corresponding to the username, do we have any record in the database or not? But what if at the time of login, password was entered wrong? Maybe correct username was passed, but password was wrong. So here, uh, I mean, for example, maybe I gave Lata here. In the database, you can see I have Lata and 12345. This is the password here in plain text right now. So let's say at the time of logging in, I'm giving Lata a here, but I am giving wrong password. So that should also be observed. That should also be checked. Not, I mean, corresponding to Lata, we have a record into the database, but password is not matched. So now this user is not authenticated because the password is incorrect. So we have to check that as well. So here I have found the record corresponding to the username and I fetched the actual user object from there and then I made a check for password as well. So if the user's password is equal to the database password in this user, I have the entered user credentials and in the DB user, I have the credentials which are there stored into the database. So if password is matched, then authenticated user. If password is not matched, then incorrect password is displayed, is returned from here. 
if in case there is no user present in the database corresponding to even username let's say i'm giving even wrong username maybe abc so there is no record found in the database for abc user so in that case user not found exception will be raised i have created this as a custom exception and i have handled this exception using global exception handling mechanism in spring boot so here this exception will be raised if there is no user found corresponding to that username now this is my service class and this is actually the complete application which i'm going to use for encrypting the password here you can see i directly took the user object and i saved it into the database using this is users repository object but before saving it to the database i have to encrypt the password here okay so this was all about my spring boot application now i'm going to add the bcrypt password encoding functionality into it to add that we need to make use of bcrypt password encoder class so there is a special dependency that you need to add and the special dependency is this one you can have a look at that it's a spring security crypto dependency that we need to add in our project in our spring boot project if you want bcrypt password encoder api to be available for your application after adding this dependency i will be getting a bcrypt password encoder class i can simply create an object of it and then this bcrypt password encoder class has a method called as encode i can use that encode method to encode my password so you can see here it is requiring raw password my raw password is there in user object so i can say user dot get password now it will be giving me the encrypted password so i can store it in encrypted password object of a string type this is the variable now the password is encrypted and it is stored in this variable now i have to save user object but user object is still have password in plain object plain form plain text form i have to replace that plain text form with the encrypted password so i need to call the setter of password again i have to call the setter of password to pass the encrypted password so let's say when i gave let's say this kind of user object from postman and this, this is the password so my password was in plain text format uh, earlier like it was 12345 and i encrypted it and saved the encrypted string in encrypted pwd and now i would like 12345 to be replaced by the encrypted form of 12345 password so that is done by using setter now this user object has username as it is like which was entered before and password is in encrypted form okay and now this password uh, now this user object i am going to save into the database using users repository after making this modification i am going to execute my project you can see my project is started successfully and i can just make a post request over here so to to send the user credentials or to save the user credentials into the database the end point is users so i just need to write this users over here it's a post request and i want let's say lovey username and password 56789 to be inserted into the database so here i'm sending this request and you can see that lovey username is added to the database successfully and now you can check it in the database when i select this and execute it you can see there you go the password for lovey is stored in encrypted format 
and the technique which is used for this encryption is bcrypt password encoding now what we have done actually through the service before saving the user object into the database we encrypted the password because of which we are getting it over here now guys that is okay but password column here in the database is also in the form of varchar it is it will be fetched in the form of a string so what will happen it at the time of authentication because a normal user will be logging in by giving the details in plain text right lavi is a user where the password was supposed to be 56789 so here in the database it is stored in encrypted form so let's say now lavi would like to log in again on the same application so lavi will be adding her password like this but in the database the password is stored in encrypted form so how that encrypted password will be matched with this password because lavi cannot remember or lavi will not be knowing that what happened behind the scene what happened in the application whether the password was stored in plain text or in encrypted format how what was the encrypted string how that was done lavi user doesn't know about it so whenever she will be logging in she will be using the same password right so now the thing is we want the raw password to be matched with the encrypted password into the database so for that guys bcrypt password encoder same class is going to be used so in the authenticate user again i'm going to create this object and here i am going to make use of one of its method called matches i would like to make a point here guys there is no decode method available in this bcrypt password encoder class as its name shows it's an encoder it provides only encode method like this it does not have decode method so there is a method called as matches which we can use to check the raw password with the encrypted one so you know that the entered password is there with user object and the password which is there is stored in encrypted format in the database is available in db user object so here i can make use of the matches method of bcrypt password encoder to match these two password so how can we do that see bcrypt dot matches raw password is with user object so user dot get password and the encoded one is with the db user password uh, db user object so in this way you can have a check and this matches method returns a boolean value so if it returns true that means both the values are getting matched if it returns false that means these are not matched so here i have written this condition if the raw password is getting matched with the encrypted password so authenticated user otherwise incorrect password will be displayed so in this way the encrypted password will remain be there in the database no where we need to decode it no matches method will do everything for us after making this modification let me execute my application once again so i'm running this application you can see my application is started successfully and on to the postman i'm going to give request another request for authenticating a user so the end point which is there for authenticating a user is this one and let's say this is the username and this is the password these are the credentials i'm giving it and you can see that this is authenticated user so here you are entering the password in raw form and in the database though it is stored in encrypted form but still these are going to be matched properly okay using bcrypt password encoder it will be taking the plain the raw 
password you which you are entering for authentication and will be converting into bcrypt form once again and then will be making a check with the database password okay then the encrypted password will be matched so we don't have to do anything like that matches method will do everything for us okay so in this way i gave right credentials and the user is authenticated but let's say if i am giving some wrong password let's say i forgot to put some characters in between so this is not the right password for lavi and if this kind of request is sent to the application then incorrect password will be returned according to the logic which we have written here okay so guys this is done for bcrypt password encoding here in this video i have just told you that how to implement bcrypt password encoder but if you want to know in detail about what this bcrypt password encoding technique is if you want to know how this bcrypt password encoder is encoding the password what is the technique behind so you can write me in the comment box and i will make another video for detailing of bcrypt password encoding technique okay guys i have used bcrypt password encoder in my spring boot project so this is the code which i wrote but same thing if you want to apply in your core java project or in your any other java application then also same code can be written over there of course you will have to add some other dependency because this dependency is based especially on spring so this is only for a spring projects but if you have let's say core java project and you would like to encrypt your password using this bcrypt password encoder then in that case you will have to uh, add a jar file in the build path of your project which is corresponding to this bcrypt password encoder on google you can easily find out jar file for bcrypt password encoder in java and then you can just download and use that jar file in your project and then you will be getting this bcrypt password encoder class and the code these three lines of code is going to be same which you can write in your core application as well or in any java application and for authentication similar thing saving password in the database in encrypted form is always a good practice as a java developer or as a java learner you should always use it and because this is the thing that is used in production so guys this is about today's video and uh, finally thank you so much for this for watching this video and guys if you like this video hit the like button and if you found this video knowledgeable or if you found this video interesting so please share it with your friends and subscribe my channel for getting such kind of knowledgeable videos in the future thank you so much see you in the next video